Hello fellow Star Wars fans, my name is Raptor. welcome back for another episode of This Week in Star Wars Canon. Every week I break down all the latest in the Star Wars continuity that relates back to the movies. This could be anything such as the TV series, the novels, comics, and to the video games. This week we were light on canon because, well, two weeks ago we had Star Wars Celebration, so there was a ton of news that came out of that. But this week I want to talk to you about Darth Maul number three. So what has happened so far in this comic is this comic series is all about obviously Darth Maul, but this predates the Phantom Menace. It's about the relationship between him and Palpatine and you know how he wants to satisfy his lust for power, but Palpatine is not doing that for him so far. And he actually gets word from some kind of underworld source that there is a Padawan that's being put up for auction. So he says this is perfect time to you know, test his powers against his Padawan. So he actually hires behind Sidious' back this group of bounty hunters led by Cad Bane and R. Singh to kind of infiltrate into this crime, you know, this basically underworld crime party that they are going to have this uh, auction for this, this Padawan. So last we left off in issue two, he actually does come face to face with the Padawan in captivity and we pick up right from there in issue three. He's standing before this Twi'lek Jedi and her name is Eldra Cadis and he can't really do much because she's behind a force field and next thing you know the organizer of the party walks up on Darth Maul and, and, and kind of catches him you know with his pants down away and he's kind of like oh well I'm not supposed to be here and he, had, and, he, and he talks his way out of it so in the meantime this this whole auction is kind of going on there's all these different bidders different aliens that you might remember from Clone Wars which is pretty neat and Eventually, there is a, a winner of this bid war, and what happens is that Maul and his crew kind of go to their ship before they get there with uh, the Twi'lek uh, Padawan. So as soon as the Twi'lek Padawan and her now captors go aboard the ship, they're ready for him, and, and, and Maul just takes them all on. And then basically what happens is they make their escape, but it was all planned by Zev Zrexis, who is the organizer of the party, and she damages her ship and they are going to plummet to the planet but at the same time Maul has confronted the Padawan once again and you know she does realize that he is a Sith and that's kind of where the issue leaves off with Maul kind of giving her her lightsaber and they're basically about the duel which is I can't wait for that but I'm gonna break this down to some of the positives some of the things I liked about this particular issue First off, I want to talk a bit about the Padawan. So she's Twilight, as I mentioned. Her name's Eldra Cadis, and she's really, really strong. I mean, again, as far as a strong will, because Sith have been kind of myths for like a thousand years, and she's she kind of could guess that he's a Force user, and she's just being so brave against Maul. Like she she's not like cowering in fear or any fear or anything. She is literally just standing up to him and talking back to him, which is pretty cool. Another thing I want to talk about is just Maul in general. I like his characterization in this about he has, you know, he's having these doubts where if he doesn't do this right, Sidious is going to find out and Sidious is going to torture the hell out of him, maybe even kill him. So throughout this whole story, there's, you know, these um, self-narration bubbles, which is pretty cool. You get to look inside the mind of Darth Maul. And finally, the artwork is always just excellent by Luke Ross. I really enjoy the detail and kind of how the images pop on the page. So overall, Darth Maul number three was okay. There weren't any major revelations, but I did enjoy it nonetheless. I'm looking forward to issue number four, which looks like it's going to have Darth Maul and the Bounty Hunters pitted up against a bunch of criminal gangsters sent by Zev Zrexus. But I want to know what you guys saw of Darth Maul number three, so let me know in that comment section below. Also, if you haven't already, check out all the videos I uploaded pertaining to Star Wars Celebration Orlando. I have videos on Battlefront 2. The Last Jedi and Rebels Season 4. But that is going to do it for me, Star Raptor. I want to thank you guys for watching and may the Force be with you always. So, did you like the video? Then make sure you rate it a thumbs up. And if you did that, go over there, hit that Star Raptor head so you subscribe to my channel. Doing so will keep you up to speed on all of my latest content. Speaking of which, you can see a couple of my recent uploads down below. I'm also on social media, so what are you waiting for? Let's start nerding out.